weather with Chief Meteorologist Nick Jansen. You know, um, it, it seems like we're kind of a broken record here talking about, oh, it's warm, it shouldn't be this warm, we're not going to have snow. I mean, it just, what more can we say? I, yeah. did, did, did I just sum up your whole weather cast? Pretty Do, much. Should you just go home? Sure. <laughs> Why not? I think I still got a job to do. And there will be a, a chance for maybe a rain-snow mix, Brock, later on this week. Uh, but yeah, as you said, I mean, again, we're just in this cycle here of these temperatures that are above average. And again, this can happen in terms of our temps, especially in the winter when we have an El Nino in effect out in the Pacific. High temperatures once again well above average today, mid 40s uh, for pretty much everyone. Some places staying in the low 40s, but most of us right around about that 45 to 46 degree mark. Temperatures are still warm here tonight. After the 5 o'clock hour, we're at 32. That's still above our seasonal high temperature here for today's date. The wind out of the southwest, and that's really been the driving force here uh, today, has been those breezy southwesterly winds. Temperatures tonight. We'll get down mid 20s for lows and you think mid 20s. Well, that's below freezing. That's still maybe about 10 degrees cooler or I should say 10 degrees warmer than average if we just stay in the mid 20s and right now we're in mid 30s. So still temperatures are warm outside tonight. Mainly clear, quiet and mild again mid 20s. We should be mid teens in terms of our lows. 40s and 50s are possible. Yes, 50s are possible tomorrow in some spots, especially if you're south of I-90. A good chance at reaching the 50s. Later this week, we do have the first alert on the potential maybe a rain snow mix. I think our main precip type will be rainfall with this next system. Can't see the next system on this uh, future track surface map at this point in time. It is off to our north. Eventually, we'll have a cold front that'll move in from Canada into the Dakotas into northern Minnesota. That'll be our next weather maker. This high pressure system continues to push a lot of the snowfall and rainfall well down to our south and southwest. So what I can do here is put the surface map in motion and notice all of that precip staying to our south and southwest. Here comes that cold front. Watch as that front moves through. We could have the development of some rain and then eventually some snow as temperatures drop Friday night extending into Saturday. That's our next chance for any type of pre. That's our only chance, really. Our next chance and our only chance in the next seven days for any type of precip, whether that's a rain, rain, snow mix, or even some snowfall. So future track tonight. Temps are trending warm here on future track, but I do think we get down into the 20s for those lows here tonight. We look towards high temperatures tomorrow, upper 40s and low 50s. Remember, just last Thursday we were in the 50s. This Thursday. We'll have a good chance of being in the 50s again for those highs. We fast forward Thursday night into Friday, maybe some drizzle spots early Friday. Better chance of rain and snow will come Friday night into Saturday. In terms of our rainfall accumulations through Saturday, some areas could reach a couple tenths of an inch of rain, so that would be good. Again, we still have some drought conditions across the region, so we do need the precip. Snowfall wise, all the accumulating snow staying well into northern Minnesota and northern Wisconsin and not expecting too much in terms of snowfall accumulations coming up Friday into Saturday tonight. 26 for the low, mainly clear and quiet here tonight. Tomorrow high temperatures, upper 40s and some low 50s. So notice we are 20 degrees, maybe 20, 23 degrees above average for high temperatures tomorrow. So really warm 49 to 50 for the high on Thursday. Mid 40s again Friday. We look towards Friday night into Saturday. That's our chance for a rain snow mix. Temperatures remaining warm again. Upper 30s and low 40s continue most of next week. And that trend could even continue closer and closer to Christmas. So Brock, yeah, I mean, broken record, right? Upper 30s, low 40s, well above average temperatures, limited snowfall chances ahead. I just hope we don't pay for it come March and April. Well, I really hope we don't pay for it and come May, right? I, we, I, I can handle the snowfall okay. when we're supposed to have the snow. Yeah. It, it has happened in May before, so sure. let's, let's just get the snowfall out of the way when we're supposed to have it. All right, Nick, thanks so much. Caitlin joins us now with a look at what's coming up at 6.